This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. I'm Amy Greesack, a garden writer in Great Falls, Montana, and this morning we need to talk about frost protection. Last night we had a forecast that we were supposed to get down to about 32 degrees, which could very well dip much colder in some areas. So definitely I brought out all the measures to keep the plant safe because just because you get a little frost at the beginning of the fall doesn't mean you're not going to have weeks of gorgeous weather. So you want to get out there and get things covered. One of my favorites, which I actually keep on all year long, is a portable greenhouse. This is a nice durable material. It has zippers on the side so I can zip it open and leave it open during the summer during the hot months. But when it's cold out, I zip her up tight and it really keeps things well past a, a light frost of 32 degrees. It'll keep things happy even into the 20s. Behind me, you can see, is the floating row cover, which is a lightweight synthetic fabric that will give you another four to six degrees protection. On this one behind me, I put it on our pumpkins because the boys, of course, are watching their pumpkins, don't want them to die and we need to get them mature. So those are over the pumpkins to keep them protected. And in other areas, I also use hoops over them so the fabric isn't lying directly on the vegetables. Just wanted to give you a better look of what it's like using the floating row cover. Now, this one I used over metal hoops. I placed it over the metal hoops that I purchased over our celery, because celery does not like a light frost. So, but you can use anything. You can use PVC pipe, you can use caging of some sort. You can even really put it directly over the plants. But on the taller plants like this, I like to keep them from the ha not having the floating row cover directly sitting on the plant. It just crushes it a little bit. No big deal, not going to kill it, but I just like using the hoops. So I, yesterday with the forecast looking kind of bleak, just came out, brought the floating row cover, put it over the top, and then you need to secure it somehow. I tucked it underneath on the front of the drip irrigation, but you can also use rocks and also the landscape pins that kind of look like a U-shape. Just pop those down, because the only drawback of this is if you don't get it secure, it's going to blow off. One, it won't protect your plants, and two, you very well could be picking it up in your neighbor's yard, which isn't always good. And here's another one of my must-have methods to be able to keep the garden going longer in the fall. It's my favorite cold frame. So last night when the forecast didn't look good, I, get, I closed it. And this morning, the big thing is you have to be sure to open it up because even though it might get very, very cold at night, once the sun comes out, things will fry. Now you'll see in here that I smooshed some of the Swiss chard, not a biggie. The chard really wouldn't have been very bothered by a, a light frost anyways but I have my precious basil in here, which I'm very far behind in picking. So I definitely didn't want to lose that. And plus, even though we didn't get a frost last night, one thing I need to point out is when you cover, when there is a frost warning, know that you're helping everything along because it just gives that little extra bit of heat at night that really helps things. So you're definitely not hurting it all by covering and you're doing a lot of good just in case you do get that frost. Now the other thing I wanted to show you are the wall of waters. I use these a lot in the spring over my tomatoes and peppers, eggplant, that type of thing, to get them out early, but you can use them in the fall. So if you have an individual pepper plant, eggplant, something small, you can put the wall of water on it even if you haven't used it all year. When you're planting, just have your plant in the ground, of course, put a five gallon bucket over the top, put the empty wall of water around the five gallon bucket over the top, and fill each of these centers cylinders. So then when you pull the bucket off, it'll collapse into this teepee. So then during the day, the sun warms the water, and then at night, the water radiates that heat over the plant. It really does a great job, keeps it nice and snug. If it's going to get chilly in the upper 20s, you can always grab a plate, just simple plate, put it over the top, and then you have an instant greenhouse effect there. So like I said, works great for peppers. I did use a broccoli plant. Broccoli will take a light frost, but I just wanted something to use to demonstrate how you could put this over an individual plant. Now, one more thing that I thought of is if you don't have the floating row cover behind me, you'll see me using a sheet over my tomatoes. I just, I ran out of row cover last night. So I grabbed a sheet to cover those because if it's a light frost, say 32, 31, it'll be sufficient. If it's gonna be heavier, you can use blankets. But the point is that you want to get some sort of covering over your plants so that frost doesn't settle on top of them.